I focus on compulsive hoarding. Um, it's a disorder that affects roughly 5% of the U.S. population, which I found pretty uh, astounding. Compulsive hoarding is a condition in which people accumulate possessions and fail to use or discard them in excessive amounts, even if the items are worthless, hazardous, or unsanitary. Not to mention the further health problems it could cause. Um, so I did my making at um, children in beauty pageants. Mantra states, as a result, women's social opportunities are more affected by their physical beauty than our men's so that women are under more pressure to conform to an ideal of beauty. So I just did mine on drag queens and how um, the stereotype is that most male drag queens want to become women and that's not the case. Hello, my name is Candy and I am a drag queen. <laughs> Many people ask me why I would ever become a drag queen. Well, first to explain to you, I am a gay man, but I dress up and perform as a woman. Also, there are many different types of drag. But I do not want to become a woman or have a woman's body. Reasons why people go into prostitution, um, society's views on prostitution, and the effects of being a prostitute. Well, I just finished reading the article title, The Rights and Wrongs of Prostitution, from the journal High Pasha, which was written by Julia O'Connell Davidson. In the article, the author explains that the vast majority of those who enter prostitution without being coerced into it by a third party do so for economic reasons. This article also focuses on how sex workers are stigmatized by society. We want to be treated like people, not as objects. People separate our businesses from mainstream society, so these transactions are usually seen as immoral and sinful. Like I say, we provide a business, nothing more, nothing less. Fantastic. So how about we have sex now? Got you. I am employed by your wife to find out if you are cheating. And now I have my evidence. I have a feeling that this will be a huge media scandal and will probably ruin your career. Bye now. <laughs> Substance abuse is becoming a large problem among today's adolescents. Whether it is the use of illegal substances or the misuse of otherwise not harmful drugs, teens find themselves in a very dangerous situation. Thank you all for listening. I hope you will be able to take away the fact that substance usage in adolescence is truly detrimental to one's well-being.